Hey guys, um, so I just wanted to make a video basically on how to keep your rabbit warm in the winter time. Um, it's coming up to October pretty quickly and Christmas is approaching quite fast now um, and obviously the temperature is starting to drop a little bit and it does start worrying me because Latte is outside um, at the minute he's just running around. Funny little thing. It's so funny because he has all the doors open in his hutch, this whole garden to run around, but yeah, he wants to stay with me and watch what I'm doing and get in the hutch. So I just wanted to show you what changes I'm making to Latte's cage. Um, and basically, I'm literally just doing it right now, as you can see. Oh yeah, I wear gloves in all of my cleaning out videos. I just don't like touching things. So for the inside, what I have done, and I'll just explain to you the process as well, is what I've done is I've taken out that bed because I'm going to put that at the bottom because he likes to sit down at the bottom and get air. So I thought maybe if he's feeling a little bit chilly and it, he wants to stay down there, maybe if I put that bed down there, he'll lay in that so it'll still kind of be warm and he'll still be getting fresh air. Um, we still let him run around in the winter outside. Um, we leave his door to his hutch open at all times. So if he wants to come in at any point, he can, it's fine. Um, we don't cover, I know his litter tray needs doing, please ignore that, that's my next job. Um, we don't cover any of this um, because this is his outside. So like if he wants to stay warm, he'll come up here. But then if he does want to go downstairs and have a bit of fresh air, he can. I don't want to take this away from him. If he wants it, it's his choice. So over the back, I have got a red um, fleece underneath there and I've put in a pillow, just a normal pillow, just for him to snuggle up into, probably will, because it's quite a small little box area over there um, of, on the side of the cage um, and it's probably quite a warm area for him just to hide behind. There's no air that can get in, the wind can't get him. It's one of them places in the hutch that's kind of wind free and air free so he can kind of feel free to do what he likes over there. Um, and then I have... This um, fleece, these fleeces are guinea pigs by the way, and I've also got a fleece underneath. I've got this one here because he sits here all of the time, even in the cold. He sits here right in front of his door and he likes it there. I don't know why, he just does. And I've got another fleece over the back, just like, I've got three fleeces in there at the moment just to keep him warm and stop the, um, the cold rising because it probably won't because there's three fleeces in there. Um, and I will just literally stuff his cage with all of his toys again and then what you need as well is when your rabbits outside even your guinea pigs um, Latte is not used to the cold weather he's quite an old rabbit now he's coming up what seven um, maybe around firework night we're still not sure about his age because um, of course we adopted him but um, as you that's my jumper <laughs> just ignore that bit there um, as you can see, on top of Latte's cage, we have a massive horse blanket. So if it rains, it's completely waterproof. And it also keeps some insulation on the top so it stays warmer for him. Um, because we don't shut the door on the inside, um, because he, he does spend most of his time down the bottom. We don't want to take it away from him. And that's where his litter tray is. So we just kind of keep that there. He is also next to a back fence, which stops if the wind is coming from the other direction. It stops the wind hitting him. Um, um, I also will in at night time when he's all shut up and everything like that I have this bin here it's just an old bin that we don't use anymore um, I have it up against his door here it stops a little bit of wind and it keeps the door shut if the wind did blow very hard very rare case that would probably ever happen but it makes me a bit paranoid um, and it stops anything trying to open it or if he wants to open it it stops being able to because we only have these so the door literally um the bin counts as a weight against the door so that stays there we have this bin here i don't know why this is here but he likes to sit behind there so maybe it does help him um he also at night time when he goes in um we will pull down the corners of the horse blanket like this i'll just show you we'll pull it down like that and that's literally what it looks like. So it covers half of his cage, which stops the wind getting through all the cracks. And then we'll pull this corner down and it kind of stops um, half of this. And so if the wind's blowing this way, it will stop him getting the wind, the brunt of it. So that's fine. Um, I just thought I would change his cage now before it starts getting cold at night. Because obviously I'm in at night, so I don't really know what he feels. 
so I just wanted to make sure that he was staying warm because it is getting cold in the UK at the moment. Um, we're having random days like today. It is sunny, but um, it's quite cold. Like in the shade here, it's really cold. But if I go over there, it's really warm. Oh, all that on there is the pig washing, by the way. I need to do it now. Um, so yeah, he can you see Latte? Anyone that can spot Latte gets a point. There he is. Bless him, cutie. I thought I'd let him have a little run around while I did this. Why not? So yeah, he also has his tunnel to hide in. And the process is he will stay out from about May time um, till about October. And then when the firework for um, firework night starts kind of come in, we kind of bring him in because it's a bit um, scary for him. Obviously, we don't want to scare him because we do fireworks ourselves and that would probably scare the hell out of him. And we have a lot of people around firework night. Not only is it my nephew's birthday, it's just a tradition in England. Firework night, Guy Fawkes night, we let fireworks off and have bonfires. It's just our tradition and that's the thing we do. So um, we bring him in by that point because then it's too cold, frost is setting in um, and everything. And then you guys know he will come into his indoor cage um, in the back room as normal. So I'm quite looking forward to that point because I really do miss him when he's not indoors. I just worry about him so much. Um, but yeah, you can see he's quite happy just running around. This is my exact point. Like he's got the whole garden, but he doesn't want it. He wants to run around his hut and see what's new. So I'm literally going to fill it all with his stuff and I'll show you what it is. So he has all of his stuff in there now, apart from hay and food. His bowl's in there, but he doesn't get food till about 7 o'clock. Um... So yeah, oh, also at night time it's getting darker earlier so I don't really like it <laughs> and it just makes me very conscious. As you can tell I worry about my rabbit. Um, so his food bowl, his massive tunnel, he's got a toilet tube, his uh, dumbbell chew toy thing, he's got his carrot there that he's destroyed, his orange, he's got a snowflake chew, he's got his little jingly toy and he's got his bun bun over the back there that he likes to toss around and lay with because it's cute and he's cute where's my rabbit gone i can't see him so yeah um i hope this video helped also at night time if it's raining or whatever um i will pull this cover over the front of his cage so he doesn't get wet because sometimes the rain does come kind of down like this unfortunately um it's very rare it happens but it does and i'll just cover him over with a blanket so he doesn't get wet um, and if it's really really bad um, I'll just make sure he's warm and I will cover the doors completely with blankets at the front and I will shut that door if it's really bad but it's never been really bad so I've never had to do that um, the only time I've done that is when it was raining once really bad and hailstoning um, which was in the summertime so it wasn't cold it was just very wet so I covered him up so yeah guys, I hope you liked this video, I hope it helped. Um, if you can request videos down below, that would be fantastic. Um, and that's just how I keep Latte warm in the winter, well, leading up to the winter, because Latte comes in, obviously, until next year. So yeah, um, probably the next video on Latte will be his coming in, or if you want to know anything more on Lats, then just let me know, um, and I'm going to crack on with cleaning the bottom of his cage, because it's poopy everywhere. Um, so I'll speak to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.